Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and this is Travels with Phil. These are the Windsor Ruins in Mississippi. I was there on May 4th, 2016. First, I'll show you the video I took on the scene, and then I'll tell you more about the house as I show you some of my pictures. These are what are called the Windsor Ruins. The Windsor Ruins, old plantation. And it's a little bit uh, south of Port Gibson in Mississippi. Interesting place. Can't get any closer because there's signs that says, beware of falling debris. Plus they also have a gate out here to stop you from getting up there. But again, Windsor Ruins, Mississippi. The ruins consist of 23 standing Corinthian columns of the largest antebellum Greek revival mansion ever built in Mississippi. The mansion stood from 1861 to 1890 when it was destroyed by fire. More on that in a moment. Windsor Mansion was constructed as a three-story block consisting of a ground floor basement and living quarters on the second and third floors. The main block was 64 feet on a side with the three-story L that projected from the east side of the main block. The L measured about 60 by 27 feet. The mansion was located on a plantation that covered 2,600 acres. It was a cotton plantation. It was constructed between 1859 and 1861 for Smith Coffee Daniel II, who was born in Mississippi and had acquired great wealth as a cotton planter by age 30. He didn't live very long though. In 1849, Smith Daniel married his cousin, Catherine Freeland. Now she lived until 1903. The couple had six children with three surviving to adulthood. The mansion itself was mostly built by slave labor, at least the conjecture is that, but th there are stories that he did bring in craftsmen from across the United States and even Europe to do some of the fancy work in the uh, facility. Archaeological examinations suggest that the outer walls were constructed of wood covered in stucco. When completed, the 17,000 square foot mansion contained three hallways and 23 to 25 rooms, each with its own fireplace. A featured innovation for that time period was the inclusion of two interior bathrooms supplied with rainwater from a tank in the attic. An 1863 sketch of a Windsor mansion was discovered in the papers of a former Union officer, Henry Otis Dwight of the 20th Ohio Infantry. Historians believe that Henry Dwight made this sketch while his unit was encamped on the grounds of the mansion. On February 17, 1890, a fire started on the third floor when, according to local tradition, a guest dropped ashes from either a cigarette or a cigar into construction debris left by carpenters who were making repairs. The mansion was destroyed, leaving only the columns that you can see, the balustrade, cast iron stairways, and pieces of bone china. Now, two of the cast iron stairways have disappeared. The third one is in the uh, Oakland Chapel at Alcorn State University, not that far away. And the ruins have appeared in two different motion pictures. Rain Tree County, 1957, which featured Elizabeth Taylor and McGurmy Cliff, and Ghosts of Mississippi in 1996. I appreciate you watching. You're welcome to make uh, comments down below as long as they're family friendly. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it. You can click on the button over on the right-hand side. Thank you very much for watching this about Windsor Ruins in Mississippi.